Time, a force both invisible and undeniable, flowing ceaselessly, yet never at a constant pace. Modern physics, through the lens of Albert Einstein's theory of relativity, has revealed that time itself can stretch and compress under the influence of gravity and velocity, a phenomenon we now know as time dilation. It is a concept that feels unsettling, as if reality itself can betray our senses. But what if this understanding groundbreaking to modern science was not new at all? What if the ancient Hindu civilization of India had already whispered these secrets through their sacred texts millennia before science gave them a name. The Vedas and Puranas, ancient reservoirs of cosmic knowledge, repeatedly reference the mutable nature of time. How time flows differently in celestial realms, how gods and sages experience fleeting moments while eons pass on Earth. Though cloaked in allegory and symbolism, these passages hint at a profound awareness. Time is not absolute. It bends, slows and accelerates depending on one's position in the cosmic order. The film Interstellar brings this very concept to life, grounding the mystical into scientific reality. As Cooper and his team descend onto a planet near a black hole, they find themselves caught in time's grip. Hours on the surface stretch into years for those left behind, mirroring descriptions found in texts like the Vishnu Purana, where different worlds, separated by divine forces, experience time at drastically different rates. It leaves us with a chilling question. Were the ancients merely telling stories, or were they describing a universe where time itself is fluid, knowledge they had no means of proving, yet somehow knew? In the merging shadows of science and scripture, time itself becomes a doorway to the unknown. There are stories hidden in the folds of time, stories so ancient they have been dismissed as mere mythology, yet they carry within them echoes of knowledge that modern science is only beginning to grasp. One such story comes from the ancient Hindu texts, a tale that shatters the illusion of time as a constant unveiling a truth that seems too advanced for its age. It is the story of King Kakudmi, a mortal ruler who dared to cross the threshold between earthly time and cosmic time, only to return to a world that had left him behind. According to the Vishnu Purana and Bhagavata Purana, King Kakudmi was no ordinary king. Dissatisfied with the suitors available for his daughter Rivati, he decided to consult Brahma, the creator himself. But Brahma's realm, situated far beyond the earth, operated under a different rhythm, a rhythm dictated by the unseen machinery of the cosmos. The king and his daughter stood before Brahma, patiently awaiting his counsel, unaware that time on earth was slipping through their fingers like sand in a storm. By the time they returned, thousands of years had passed, their kingdom long erased, their world unfamiliar. This ancient narrative, though told in the language of gods and kings, is not a tale of fantasy. It is a precise description of what we now understand as gravitational time dilation. The slowing of time in regions of intense gravitational influence or in places existing outside the familiar flow of earthly time. Could it be that King Kakudmi's audience with Brahma was not a metaphor, but a journey into a higher dimensional realm, one where the laws of space and time twisted and bent in ways the human mind could barely comprehend. What if this story is not mythological, but the encoded memory of an ancient technological encounter, a visitation to a celestial or extraterrestrial station where time was no longer anchored to Earth's flow? Perhaps the gods were not beings of pure spirit, but cosmic travelers whose understanding of time was as fluid as light itself. King Kakudmi's journey stands not only as a warning, but as a doorway, inviting us to reconsider ancient Indian wisdom, not as folklore, but as fragments of a lost science, one that understood 
and even mastered the terrifying and wondrous reality of time dilation. Another such story buried deep within the Mahabharata recounts the extraordinary journey of Prince Arjuna, a tale that, when viewed through the lens of modern physics, reveals a chilling glimpse into the ancient Indian understanding of time dilation. This is not a metaphorical story. It is a direct account of time shifting, bending, and leaving a man stranded between worlds. When Arjuna was summoned to Indraloka, the celestial realm of Lord Indra, it was no ordinary invitation. The texts describe Arjuna being carried upward beyond earth into a place of divine brilliance and incomprehensible beauty. But Indra Loka was not just a kingdom in the sky, it was a realm that existed in a different flow of time itself. Arjuna spent what felt like a handful of days training in divine weapons and celestial arts under the guidance of beings far more advanced than any human. Yet when he returned to Earth, entire years had passed. His world had moved on, while for him time had barely touched his body. This unsettling distortion, where time in Indraloka passed at a fraction of the speed experienced on Earth, is not fantasy. It is a perfect description of time dilation, a phenomenon known today through Einstein's theory of relativity. Time itself slows down for those who venture close to massive gravitational fields or travel at immense speeds. Arjuna's experience was not symbolic, and it was an unfiltered encounter with a fundamental cosmic truth. The texts remain silent on the exact mechanisms of his journey, but the hints are undeniable. Indraloka, far above the Earth, could very well be a reference to an orbital or even interstellar station, a place where time unfolded differently due to its distance from Earth's gravitational pull. The Mahabharata, without scientific jargon, captures what physicists only began to understand a century ago. Was Arjuna a mere prince? Or was he the first human to cross into a world governed by alien physics, perhaps even guided by beings whose mastery over time allowed them to exist outside the limits of Earth's reality? These questions linger, unspoken yet unavoidable. The ancient Indians knew that time was not a river, but an ocean. And some, like Arjuna, had already sailed far beyond the horizon. The ancient Indians did not merely observe time. They experienced its terrifying flexibility. In the modern world, scientists speak of time dilation. Yet thousands of years ago, the seers and sages of ancient India described something eerily similar, encoded into their understanding of the yugas, vast cycles of cosmic time, and the existence of parallel worlds operating on entirely different timelines. What they knew they left behind, not as theories, but as truths hidden within stories and scriptures. The yugas are more than poetic epochs dividing history into golden and dark ages. They describe the flow of time itself speeding up and slowing down in ways that defy human perception. The Satya Yuga, the first and purest age, flows so slowly that lifespans stretch for thousands of years, while in the Kali Yuga, time accelerates, civilizations rise and fall in the blink of a cosmic eye. This concept eerily aligns with the relativistic view of time where gravity, cosmic position, and even the very fabric of space influence the passage of time itself. The Puranas and Upanishads go further, describing realms far removed from Earth, places where time flows differently, where a day in one world equals millennia in another. This is not mere mythology. It is a direct recognition of what modern physics calls time dilation and relative time perception. But what is most unsettling is the implication that these realms, whether they be Indraloka, Brahmaloka, or Patala, are not metaphors for spiritual states, but possibly descriptions of parallel universes or extraterrestrial outposts, each governed by its own unique laws of space and time. In this ancient worldview, gods were not merely divine entities, but perhaps advanced beings existing in dimensions where the flow of time was under their control. 
Travelers who cross between these realms, whether sages or kings, return to find centuries had passed, their lives dislocated from everything they knew. This is no different from astronauts skimming the edge of a black hole. Only these stories emerged millennia before relativity was ever conceived. The question lingers like a shadow. Did ancient India stumble upon cosmic truths through divine insight? Or were they visitors to realms governed by laws far beyond Earth's understanding, guided by hands that may not have been entirely human,